Hi, Micro Hunter here again. Uh, today I'd like to um, answer a question that I've uh, received uh, from one of my viewers. Hi, Oliver. I have a question. When I, If I were to purchase plan objectives and mount these on my microscope, will it work in a desirable fashion or do the eyepieces have to be replaced as well? Thank you for the question and in this video I'd like uh, to respond to it. So, first of all, um, the answer is not that easy, um, it's a clear, it depends. Um, let me start at the basics. Uh, plan objectives, uh, these for example are not plan objectives here, but plan objectives, what they do is, is when you look uh, through uh, the microscope, then they will give you a sharp image, not only in the center, but all the way um, to the edges, because uh, the microscope objective is, is designed in such a way that the image which is created um, is projected on a, on, a, uh, on a plan surface, and then the eyepiece uh, can pick it up, um, and then you have it uh, sharp all the way to the edges. Uh, the cheaper non-plan objectives, what ha often happens is, is that it's uh, sharp in the middle, it's, it's in focus in the middle, and uh, the border, the periphery, is a little bit out of focus, um, which in many cases does not disturb if you're just visually looking at it, but if you want to make pictures or want to take pictures, then it can be a little bit disturbing. So especially for photography, um, what, you, uh, what many people or some um, microscopists do is, is they um, use plan objectives, and then this basically, when you take a picture, it's it's in focus on them um, all the time um, and the th question is now is, is if I have a plan um, objective here do I also have to exchange the eyepiece and uh, this is not such an easy answer it depends a little bit um, and I need to uh, now want to explain the whole um, everything first of all in, it is like this if uh, you just want to work visually and, and if you're not really so much concerned about taking pictures it probably doesn't really matter uh, because you will uh, always uh, use the fine focus knob anyway you don't see it right now but there is a fine focus knob and therefore you will always uh, recenter the slide and you will always refocus it um, and it really, from, from a visual perspective, it really does not make a lot of a difference. But if you are now interested in, in taking photographs, especially through the eyepiece, so for example, this um, eyepiece here is a wide field eyepiece, it has the field number 20, so this means that you can actually see uh, quite a bit more of the specimen uh, than compare, uh, compared to the, uh, those eyepieces that only have a smaller field number, it looks like almost like you're looking through a tunnel. So and if you want to have a wide field of view, then of course you want to also exchange the eyepieces, because then you get the benefits uh, um, of, uh, um, of the plan objectives. So this is one, one reason, and, and however there's also a second reason, and the second reason this is the following that um, especially the so-called the high-end microscope manufacturers um, what they do is, is they produce so-called compensating eyepieces and what they do is the following is is, is that they correct and compensate uh, lens errors for example, chromatic aberration, which the objective produces. Uh, chromatic aberration gives you those color fringes around the objects, um, but uh, th these color fringes are removed, or at least partially removed, by the eyepiece. So the eyepiece and the objective, they actually have to work together, um, and in order to do that, they should be actually from the same manufacturer. Um, so you see, it's actually the exchange of the eyepiece is not only a question about the field of view and whether you actually want to gain the benefit of also the having a, an in-focus um, edge, but it also depends a little bit of whether you want to have the color correction. Um, so ultimately it boils down to the following. Um, in my view, if you already invest money in a plan objective, uh, then um, I would also, pro if you have that much money, <laughs> then I would probably also invest uh, um, a little bit in, in the new eyepiece, provided that you do not have wide field eyepieces. Um, however, I think, then that is my personal view, um, I probably personally would only buy plan objectives if um, I would actually really only do photo uh, photographic work. And uh, if you do not uh, have plan objective and you still want to do photography, then there is a workaround. What you do is, is you simply take pictures only of the central part um, of the field of view, uh, and then you do only you take overlapping images, you stitch them together in a panorama software to again get on the computer a larger field of view. So you simply are just removing the the, uh, the unclear, the, the out of focus uh, 
periphery and you're just taking a picture of the central part and because uh, this is a relatively small you can simply enlarge uh, this again by um, by stitching together several images so that's kind of a workaround uh, which might not make uh, plan objectives absolutely necessary all the time um, I would say um, it depends uh, a lot um, but uh, if you really want, uh, if you really already have a high-end microscope, and uh, then it might indeed uh, be worth it. But if you have uh, introductory, low-cost microscopes, um, educational microscopes, um, be aware that uh, plan objectives can be quite expensive. Um, and uh, it's also another thing is that uh, those uh, microscope manufacturers that you have, uh, the high-end microscope manufacturers, they switched over uh, to so-called infinity optics. So and those infinity systems are not compatible with a traditional 160 millimeter system. Um, so you might actually have to go to eBay to buy plan objectives that fit actually your traditional 160 millimeter uh, microscope. So you see the whole a bunch of other um, issues, and then you have to find also an eyepiece that and and so on. Um, I don't know if it's always worth it, but if you know that uh, you need it, then I would actually um, yeah consider already also uh, probably exchanging the eyepieces if your current eyepieces um, um, yeah, are not, not sufficiently good. Okay, so this was a, a short answer um, and uh, I wish you as always uh, happy microbe hunting. Thank you again for the question and uh, goodbye. Bye-bye.